I give you a prize if you're looking at this right now because you're an early bird. Technically, I'm really not starting till 8 o'clock, but it's about 10 minutes to 8, and I'm in a different location than I, I thought maybe I should just turn it on early just to make sure I'm in the right place. Um, I'm at Alfred Rush Ford Park. This is the, let's see, one, two, third most east park in Detroit. If you go two parks east of where I am right now, you'll be in Gross Point. Uh, if you look behind me, you can see the uh, cityscape for Detroit. And, uh, right beside the Detroit River. And uh, where we are now is the location of, it's a boarded up, but uh, Detroit uh, Recreation Department facility. And it's funny, I've lived long enough where I used to come out here, uh, some of the mentally handicapped people in Detroit uh, functions here. And my sister, Sarah, uh, some of you may not know that I have a sister, I had a sister named Sarah who was uh, developmentally disabled and uh, part of the mental handicap program that the city of Detroit had, uh, where she at least benefited from uh, some of the programs. And some of them were right here. And so it brings back a lot of memories uh, doing this. Uh, my wife likes to remind me, she says, you know, Nick, you always say you're not nostalgic. Uh, she said, but every time I say something like this, what I just told you about the recreation department building here and how I used to come here 30 years ago when my sister uh, was in a mental health program that uh, I guess I am nostalgic and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, matter of fact, I wonder about people who don't have much memory or who don't care to remember the good things, the bad things, the sad things in life. Uh, but tonight, let's see how we're doing time-wise. I'm at 7.52. That means we're eight minutes ahead of time. I want to give a shout out to Camille Bailey. Camille called me today to ask me, had I, what was it today or yesterday, to ask me, did I remember somebody who was on the sick list or who may have died? And then I thought about it. I said, shoot, I should, should have been praying for Camille the whole time. Camille, last year, had 16 surgeries. I don't know how you have 16 surgeries in 12 months. Uh, but Camille and Gerald are some of my oldest friends. Gerald is her husband. We met when we were all about 15 at Cast Tech. Uh, I was in the 10th grade, Gerald's in the 10th grade, and Camille, if I'm not telling your business, you were in the 11th grade. And we were all in Choir B. And uh, so tonight, I want to put a shout out to Camille Bailey. And uh, number one, Kabil, I want to thank you for watching these little videos. And uh, two, for making sure that uh, the list is up to date. I want to add another person to the death list. Uh, Edward Cody died uh, a couple days ago. Mr. Cody was my Sunday school teacher uh, at Plymouth United Church of Christ when I was just a little boy. Uh, he, was, he was a trained educator in the Detroit public school system. Mr. Cody never been buried, to my knowledge. Uh, he was buried, I think, somewhere in North Carolina uh, yesterday or so. And I want to thank Denard McClary for sending me the funeral program for Mr. Cody. Uh, one of the things, uh, when I think about Edward Cody, uh, that in my growth and development, and I guess I'm being nostalgic again, is that uh, Mr. Cody was representative of a number of men who were Sunday school teachers when I was a little boy. Most of the teachers I had were males. And if there's any man looking at this tonight, I hope you'll think about being a Sunday school teacher. And you say, Reverend, you've gone from preaching to reaching. Uh, but I really, I think one of the challenges that young black boys, young African Americans have, is that we don't realize that a man can grow up to be something good, uh, something positive, something constructive. Uh, the Sunday school superintendent that I had when I was a little boy uh, at Plymouth United Church of Christ was a man named Mr. Henderson. Henderson got my attention because he was a little portly guy, full-figured man, not particularly tall, but 
one Christmas, Mr. Henderson put on a Sunday uh, Santa Claus outfit, uh, you know, with the beard, the hat, the whole thing, but it was clear it was Mr. Henderson. And it threw me off because I said, who ever heard of a black Santa Claus? But Mr. Henderson was down there, ho, 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 ho. And I think about that. I think about Mr. Henderson was the Sunday school superintendent who brought Jackie Robinson uh, to my Sunday school. Uh, along with Dick Night Train Lane. Uh, so men can have an influence. And then we had two brother, brothers, and one of them was the superintendent. What was his name? I forget them now. Maybe it'll come back to me. But these guys were, uh, one was a superintendent, uh, one was a teacher, uh, Charles. Charles Harvey tells a story how one of the brothers would pick him up every Sunday, bring him to church. And uh, what an effect that had on Charles. And I think about that now. Charles leads a Sunday school class. He's a participant in a Sunday school class. But he's a grown man, but he saw that when he was a child. And uh, maybe that's part of the reason why I'm a preacher today. Maybe that's part of the reason why I like to teach Bible study. Uh, speaking of Bible study, let me give you another freebie. Next Wednesday, which is the 6th, and I'll be trying to publicize it on Facebook, I'll be leading a conversation on spirituality. And the first one is spirituality and prayer. And I hope uh, you'll think about attending it. It'll be a Zoom conference call, but we're also going to link it to Facebook. And uh, the concept is that I'll be talking about what does it mean to be spiritual? What does it mean to be spiritual? Hey, big fella. You know, hi, how are you all doing? Good. All right. All right. Good to see you. Hey, man. <laughs> say bye-bye. I say bye-bye. Okay. Um, I tell you, nothing like being out at Alfred Brush Ford Park. Uh, you see it all. But I'm going to be doing, a, I think, a three-part, maybe four-part series on spirituality. I'm going to talk, you know, some people, a majority of Americans describe themselves as spiritual but not religious. And so I'm going to be talking about that. What does it mean to be spiritual and not religious? And then I'm going to break spirituality down. And I'm going to break it down from the perspective, first of all, next week, next Wednesday at 8 o'clock at night, right here on Facebook. I'm going to talk about uh, spirituality and prayer. Uh, how does a spiritual person pray? I'm going to talk about four to five elements of prayer. Ask yourself, what are they? Praise, thanksgiving, confession of sin, intercessory prayer, and then there's always supplication. And I'm going to be talking about that next week. I invite you to be a part of it. It's a Zoom conference call. I invite you to be on the Zoom. Um, you have to reach me. You know, um, I'm starting with my church members, but there's room for you if you want to be a part of it. And then we're going to literally zoom it out to Facebook, and I hope you will consider being a part of it. Let's see what time we're at now. 7.59. We have one minute. So I want you to think about that. Uh, you know, I want you to zoom with me. Um, you know, Aretha Franklin saying, who's zooming? And uh, I would know that Aretha Franklin would be prophetic. Uh, but think about that. Wednesdays at 8 o'clock. I'll be talking in a conversational forum about spirituality. And I want you to think about being with me as part of that for the next three weeks. So it's about time to go now uh, and to get really into my message. The message that I want to share with you is the Apostle Paul in the book of Romans, 12th chapter, uh, the ninth verse says, let your love be genuine. Uh, and then in the 10th verse, he talks about mutual affection. Uh, but in the 11th verse, uh, he talks about do not lag in your zeal. Think about that. Do not lag in your zeal uh, for the Holy Spirit. And I want to talk about that for a minute. Some people are just lazy. Uh, it's just simply being lazy. Uh, lazy about love. Lazy about being kind. Lazy about being positive. Lazy about getting up and even going to work. And I think that what Paul is saying is, when he says, do not lag in your zeal, uh, that what he's saying is, my wife has given me signs, five and three, that's eight. eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock. again in the scripture. Hi, again, this is Pastor Nick Hood. And Denise wants me to remind you that this is Nick Hood, pastor and senior minister of the Plymouth United Church of Christ. And tonight, I'm talking very briefly.
lazy. Sometimes we lose in love because we just get tired and or get angry. And what Paul is saying here is, do not lag in your zeal. That's the word that I leave you with tonight. And um, gracious Master, our God, we pray for you. Feel like being stupid. I just pray this evening in your name, O oh Lord God, that you might bless us, keep us always in thy care. Through Jesus Christ, our rock and redeemer, I pray tonight. I leave you with one more thought. Tomorrow morning at 8 30, I'll be preaching on Facebook Live, live stream, Church of Christ. I'll be preaching about uh, let your love be genuine. I don't know if anybody here has ever had a love that you wondered about. A love that maybe wasn't genuine. A love, or maybe you had second thoughts. Does he love me? Or does he love somebody else? Does she love me? Or does she really love somebody else? But that's what I'm going to be talking about tomorrow. That the spirit of love that we have for one another. You can see it right here on Facebook at 8.30. And then uh, if you miss it on Facebook, look at the church website. It's called Plymouth United Church of Christ. And you can see the whole service in its entirety. We have some of the best music in the world and uh, very, very uplifting service and uh, even in spite of myself, you know, we try to bring it all. And so uh, I hope to see you tomorrow. God bless. God keep you. And remember, I am praying for you. God bless.